天是我们跟 Mike 的最后一天训练。那今天呢，我会充当助教的这个位置，就是我不会下去练，然后去帮助 Mike 训练奇哥跟郭博。那在旁我也会去观察一下啊，他们两位的动作，然后看今天 Mike 会带给我们什么样的训练内容。Let's go. Today we're going to start with a little ball handling routine. Okay. First one is going to be tight, tight crosses on the elbows, on the ribs. Pushing with the ball. When I clap, you're gonna go into wide crosses. Wide crosses, like you're holding a bucket. Then I clap again, tight crosses. We're thinking about not covering a lot of distance, just covering nice and tight. So we didn't go through a crazy dynamic warm-up today. We just did ball handling to kind of get loose, okay? And then same thing, kind of build yourself up. Here we're thinking about gliding to the spot, covering space. We're gonna go in and do different kind of finishes, but we're gonna focus mainly on ball handling. So you're coming down with your left. It's gonna be, first one is gonna be cross, cross, cross. Coming down and finish. Okay, try to turn your shoulders and push through the spots, yep. Yep, push, push, push. But you want to turn, turn, turn. We're gonna go two hand dribble, chicken drill, okay? So it's gonna be three dribbles, starts the drill. We're gonna come at each other. So three dribbles, two, three. We're gonna come at each other. First round is gonna be an in and out at each other. In and out. I'm gonna go by. This guy's gonna finish. Other guy's going to the three. Boom, yep, and then reset. Now we're coming back right hand again. Yep, Ben, you're down here. Downhill, now. Good, there you go. Good, so what I want you to think about is space with your partner. Sometimes we do our in and outs too close. In and out crossover, starting the right. Now that you guys got the hang of it, let's do two dribbles to start. One, two, in and out, cross. All right, so to be in your left, finish inside hand on this, on the right side. Now, right hand starts it, we'll go through the leg, cross. Right to left, left to right. Through the leg, cross. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. The feedback is when you run into your partner. That's why I like this drill. Retreat, retreat, cross. Good. Nice, guys, good. Let's go left hand. Retreat, retreat, through the legs. Finish. Good. See, expose it. Cross, cross, drop, pull, there we go. So we'll just do some combos now. I'm gonna do, we're gonna work on like some little impulse stuff you saw me doing with Owen and Jason. And you guys are going to some floater finishes, okay? So you're gonna have hot feet. I'm gonna pass it to you, you're gonna pop, bounce it. We're working on tap first. You're gonna tap it down, body with the ball. So I'm here and I'm gonna flow with it, cross over, get to a float, one dribble. So it's gonna be like hot feet, pop it, 
cross it, one, float. When you tap it, I want it to like hang a second. So it kind of tap and then take it as it goes down. Yeah, yes, beautiful, beautiful. Here we go. Majority of the time when you're trying to get a ball screen, you want to create an angle. Yeah. So I don't want to run straight at the angle of the screen. I may, I may want to bring him down a little bit and then get into it. Or I may just start shifting him early and running at him and then coming. All right, so the first round, you're just going to work on coming off the screen. I'm going to pop out here, quick low cross to your left, float. Good, now let me see you go two hard dribbles through the leg. I'm gonna be, stay here, I'm gonna keep you out, you're gonna do two dribbles. Keep it in your right. Boom, boom, quick through the legs, get away. There you go, downhill. Nice. Spin, reject, good, get away, nice. Down, spin, quick reject, good. Side. Let's see two of those, good job. And the next one we're gonna do is a straight reject. So we'll get in our right, we're gonna go at it. So I just shift him in my right. Now when I step, he steps up high, I'm gonna step with my right, quick downhill. Notice my left foot. So my right foot's pointing at Rick, but my left steps downhill off the D cell. So it's an optical illusion, right? I'm coming here, I'm gonna step and reject. This is when the big man and the guard both jump. Let's go big in and out, big in and out, coming off the ball screen, get one foot on the three, drag them out, and go back downhill. So I want to like go downhill, oh shit, Rick stop me, oh shit, drag them out, drag them out, downhill finish. Okay. Okay, same thing off the drag. I'm gonna teach you one of my favorite crossovers. So you're gonna work on a foot exchange. It's like Allen Iverson's cross. One, two, my right foot. My left foot's gonna foot exchange, cross. A lot of guys teach dribbling here, so that's why I kind of waited for the end of our sessions. Yeah, yeah, I wanted yeah. to work on the stuff that I like, yeah. base stuff. Different stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know the dribble is taught a lot here. Yeah. So now we're gonna work off the handoff. So this kind of be the last strategic thing. We're gonna work off the handoff and have you guys do combos off the of handoffs. Okay. And handoffs, you guys should be running those in your men's league for sure. Mm -hmm. They don't do enough handoffs, I've noticed here. This way? Like I noticed the college team didn't do handoffs that much. Mm -hmm. The pro teams didn't do handoffs that much. But like in NBA and college, there's a lot of handoffs. How more like a pick and roll. Yeah, I they like pick and roll here. Yeah. Yeah. So literally on my scouting reports for four and fives for NBA players, uh -huh. top of the key decision making. Yeah. Playmaking ability. Yeah. Those are key factors for a big, because you just said most of them are limited. Yeah. But that's what you need as an advantage. They have the ball up top. Yeah. Their man's usually sunk. They're making plays off that. Yeah. yeah. So it's something that maybe the coaches need to incorporate more to get them comfortable with it. Yeah. So same idea, like as a guard, if you're seeing the big here, odds are you're gonna wanna pass over the top. The guards would engage from here and hit the big. Notice I'm throwing it high. Okay, so what you're gonna do is when you throw the pass, take two steps downhill and now cut off. Now you're kind of seeing that you wanna make fake a cut to make a cut. So you're here, you're coming downhill. Now it's gonna be a left foot skip and a go. Now you see why I like skips. 
Good. All right, come back. Skip, skip before. I'll skip. So what that does for you is it gives you a little boost. Boom. And it gives you some timing with the defense. Left foot, left foot down. Come walk through it, yep. High pass, down cut, skip. Little late, little late. That was good though. Little late. Little late. So it's all getting tell. Make the pass, cut, down here. Quick cut. Skip. Yes, that was it. That was it. Downhill. Tell. Skip. Nice. Good. Okay, now you're gonna get it off the handoff. In and out, drag them out two, and then go downhill. Angle, angle, angle. Good. Skip. Nice. Yes. Twice. Yes. There you go. Dude, you're covering some ground. Nice. Okay, so now you don't get it. Pass it to coach. I'll be you. I don't get it. One step to the three, I'm coming back around. Now it's right foot skip. Push and go. So we call this a fake handoff or you don't get it. Keep it. High pass. Good. Sell it. Uh-uh. Okay. So look how much space. I'm with you. Get down. Now come back. Now he steals me. Ugh. That's a big part of basketball is taking that space. So now it's off a dribble hand. We're gonna grab the big dribble to you. So you're gonna step away with your right foot. Step downhill, yep. Now we're coming at you. Come on, yep, skip. Left hand downhill, all right? All right, now go downhill, get to a spin move, finish on your right. Spin, spin. Good. Nice. Okay, now let's come off of this. Let's finish. Let's build up on everything. So now, hand off. You're going to go down, but then drag them back out. And then get the big to come set the ball screen. Yeah. All right. Turn the corner. Bring them back out, reset, big come set the ball screen. He needs a little more pace, but he's fine. He just needs like a little, he's like one speed. Yeah. You just need a little more. All right, guys, we're going to do, we're going to count everything 20 second increments. 20 seconds. Yeah, so you're going to go crossovers 20 seconds. Uh -huh. In and out right 20 seconds. In and out left, split, 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 split. All right, so it's going to be five. You go across this 20 seconds as many as you can get. We're counting. Uh -huh. Okay, then you're going to go in and out 20 seconds as many as you can get. 20 seconds. Left foot one, two, three, four, five. As many as you can in 20 seconds. As many as you can in 20 seconds. All right, let's do a bank free throw to finish the workout. <laughs> bank. Bank. bank free throw finishes the session. Bank. There it is. Ben, bank. You should be good for you. You're strong. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> good job, guys. That was a fun you. one. Nice. Good, good couple job. weeks, huh? Yeah. Thanks, coach. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Me too. Yeah. So, good week, guys. That was fun. Really, all of you guys, I hope you learned something. More importantly, we had fun. Yeah. Right on, man. Yeah. Appreciate it.
Appreciate Thank it. You. Appreciate the opportunity. No, no doubt. It was a great trip. Appreciate it. We'll all be in touch. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. 好，那我们今天的训练也结束了，大概为期一个小时左右。那今天的训练，麦克说他会，因为呃，他觉得在台湾蛮多人在训练运球的，所以他在前几次带给我们的多比较多的是投篮跟脚步的部分。那今天会有做到一些运球热身，然后主要的 finish 他会 focus 在 floater 上面，就是抛投的动作上面。他也给我们很多技巧，不管是在 Pick and roll 或者是 hand off 上面的、呃、想法，跟一些需要注意到的小细节。今天也是我们跟他练习的最后一次。那以上几支影片就是我们这一次麦克来台湾跟我们训练的内容。那如果喜欢我的影片的话，记得帮我按赞、订阅又是篮球频道，并且分享给你喜欢打篮球朋友。有机会再带你们看一下不同训练师带给我们的训练到底是内容是什么。下次见，拜拜。